Um, fuck, that's a heavy question to answer while you're tattooing. We're currently at the Bait and Schlang Tattoo in St. Henry, Montreal. Yeah, so I met Nick and Travis, and the original idea was that I was going to do a trial period and we are going to see how the fit was, just because we didn't know each other that well, and they'd put all their hard work into building this shop. After about three or four days, we really had a good vibe and been working here ever since. Uh, no, I actually had no idea I was going to be a tattooer. Yeah, my parents always liked art. Growing up, we never did anything as a family in terms of like going to Disneyland or going to La Ronde, but every weekend there was always new museums to go see, and it was just like a constant thing that we did. I don't know, I always liked minimalist painting. I always liked posters when I was a kid and comic books. I think I bought comic books when I was young and I didn't even read them. I just looked at the pictures. Yeah, I think signage too. When you're young, you spend a lot of time driving around with your parents and sitting in the back of a car. So you kind of have to look outside and see what you're attracted to. After being away for like almost eight years, it was just about time to kind of make a change. I didn't even know I was gonna come back to Montreal. I just ended up here and then the opportunity at the tattoo shop happened and my brother had a really nice group of friends that I hadn't met since I'd left and started playing hockey and started hanging out and skateboarding was good and the skate industry too, like the scene in Montreal was getting better and better. So pretty much this neighborhood we're in now is St. Henry, it's where the shop is, the shop's on uh, Notre Dame and St. Remy. When I grew up as a kid, this neighborhood was like pretty much working class, a little bit tougher than some of the other neighborhoods in Montreal. but. Just like any other city, the artists come in and then slowly but surely the cheap rent turns into cool spaces. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a studio in my apartment most of the time. And so I can just like stay at home and do work. And tattooing is a job you take home with you, right? So in the winter you just draw more. You watch more movies and you hang out with your friends at home more. And because you're living in a city that's a little bit less expensive, you can have a nice apartment, whereas some cities you can't. Usually throw in some tunes in the car and just like, chill. I got into it kind of at the last stage before social media was really like prevalent in tattooing. And the guy who I did my apprenticeship with, James Acro, was a great tattooer out of Vancouver. So I went to James and I showed him sketchbooks of some drawings because I've been doing lots of flyers and band posters and stuff like that to kind of pay for university. And uh, he looked at the drawings and told me to come back in a couple weeks with some more drawings, so I did. And slowly but surely, like, I think after six months of going in every two weeks, I got a position, he asked me to come in like one day a week to mop. And then from there I mopped a little bit more and I got interested in tattooing and I would watch him tattoo and it's crazy. All, like as much as people can tell you about theory and things about tattooing and like, you just have to watch. And the more you watch, the more you pick up on it to the point that like one day you're doing a line and you can see the person who taught you how to tattoo, you can almost like see exactly what they were doing in your own hand. It's like an amazing feeling. For someone to ask me what to say to like a younger generation of tattooers coming up, it puts me in a position where like I have advice, but I also feel like I'm still at a stage where I'm learning so much that it's, it's, it's new, you know what I mean? Even like five, 10, 15 years in, you're still learning, like you're never, you're never done. Yeah, it's always nice to see your stuff go into production and then come out with a final product. You know, it's like to be in the position to have the opportunity to create something that's physical that years down the road, you know, I can have and I can keep the towel because it's good quality and I can throw it in the wash and it can age and then in 15 years from now I can like pull out this towel and be like, oh wow, like that reminds me of Dario, that reminds me of like classic tattooing, that reminds me of a certain time in my tattoo career and a certain time in my life. And, just good vibes all around.